identifying structural diagrams for molecular compounds, identifying single, double, triple bonds in various Lewis dot diagrams and structural diagrams. In a Lewis structural diagram, lone pairs are represented by dots. Okay, so we will still be representing our lone pairs by dots. However, bonds are now represented by lines. Revolutionary here. Really good. Okay, when you have a single line, that means you have a single bond. That means two bonding electrons are being shared, okay? A double line indicates that there are four electrons being shared. And lastly, a triple line, six electrons are being shared. One thing to note here is out of these three types of bonds, the single bond is the weakest, and your triple bond is the strongest. Okay, between these three bonds, single bonds are the easiest to break, and triple bonds are some of the hardest bonds to break. If we look at this example here, we have hydrochloric acid. In the Lewis structure, these two electrons right here that are being shared are now going to be represented by a line. Notice how we still have the lone pairs present on the fluorine, okay? The only thing that changed is here. This line now represents a bond, okay? And very careful, this is a Lewis structural diagram. Okay, so make sure you know the difference between the two. So again, taking a look here at carbon dioxide, we notice that there are four electrons being shared. That's going to transcribe into a double bond. Okay, So on your Lewis dot diagram, we use dots. Okay, On a Lewis structural diagram, we use lines and lone pairs, okay? Okay, taking a look at an example here. It's asking us to draw the Lewis structural diagrams for the following mo molecule. Okay, Lewis indicates that we need dots. Structural indicates that we need lines, okay? So nitrogen, we know that its Lewis dot diagram will need 10 electrons. So for a Lewis dot diagram, it will look like this. Okay, 10 electrons, looks like that. For a Lewis structural diagram, these here, these electrons here are now going to be turned into lines. So the lone pairs remain, but instead of having six electrons there, we are going to have a triple bond instead. So this is what my Lewis structural diagram will look like. Moving on, we have water here. Water, we know, has eight electrons. If we were to draw a Lewis dot diagram for water, it would look like this. Okay. Now, these two regions where the electrons are being shared, those are now going to be turned into bonds. Those are two electrons being shared. It is going to be a single bond. So when we are drawing our Lewis structural diagram, it will look like this. Notice that the lone pairs remain and that our shared electrons have turned into bonds. In a structural diagram, lone pairs are removed, okay? This blank should not be here. The fill in the blank should be removed. And the bonds are represented by lines. Okay, so structural basically means only lines. Okay, so for example, we are working with the same compounds here, okay? 
So in our Lewis dot diagram, nitrogen gas looks like this. Lewis structural diagram, nitrogen looks like this. Okay, in our structural diagram, our molecule is going to look like this. Now, when you are drawing a structural diagram, I want you to either draw a Lewis dot diagram or a Lewis structural diagram first to ensure that you have the correct amount of electrons. From there, you can go ahead and then erase the lone pairs off of the off when you are making this diagram. But I want you to make either a Lewis dot diagram or a Lewis structural diagram before you turn it into a structural diagram, okay? So if you are using a structural diagram, I'm gonna show you with um, water. Water needs eight electrons, okay? So there's a hydrogen bonded to an oxygen bonded to a hydrogen. Currently, there are four electrons present because each bond represents two electrons. So I have two, four. Okay, complete the octet on oxygen. Now I have eight. So you can go straight to a Lewis structural diagram if you prefer. If we want to convert this now into a structural diagram, there are no more lone pairs, okay?